going on guys? Welcome back. It is episode number 76 of my live player and today we are returning on the back of winning the Champions League with Real Madrid. Yes, my second ever European final, my first ever Champions League final and we came out on top against Dortmund, my former team, by two goals to nil to pick up my first ever European honour. My first Champions League and my first double winning season as well. You love to see it finally hitting another Instagram moment. So today, um, it's the World Cup. Yes, it's the World Cup. I have no idea where we're playing it. This is one thing which I think that EA really needs to look into. When the international tournaments come round, can you just tell us where we're playing? Because I've got no idea. But we are in Group B. You just saw it there. It is a 32-team World Cup, not a 64-team World Cup, thank God. And uh, it's Scotland, New Zealand, and America. I've made the squad, and I fancy our chance of topping that group. The interesting thing is that I don't know if I'll be selected to play the games, because if you've been keeping up with the season, then you would know that um, Gareth Southgate decided not to play me in uh, any of the past four friendlies. Now, it's bugging out at the moment, because in the top left, it still says that I'm with Ancelotti with Real Madrid, but of course I'm not. I'm here with Southgate and the England squad. Um, I can't even check the England squad. This is... Not great, yeah, is it? Come on now. Maybe I've got to wait until the, the week before. No, nope. still says I'm with Ancelotti, but I'm not. No point in doing the train there, it's not going to work. But, um, so there we go. Now we're at the World Cup, and now in the top left. I, I don't think I'm going to play, you know. I actually, I actually don't think I'll play, because I'm still regarded as a reserve player, so I'm not even making the bench. I don't think Southgate's going to pick me. I'm literally, like, the best player in world football right now, and um, I can't even make the bench for the England squad in the World Cup, which is... A bit weird, considering the fact that, you know, like, obviously everyone is on the bench in an international tournament. But, um, okay, so I have to sim the first game. What is the greatest result in New Zealand football history? What is this game mode? Gareth, this is beyond a joke, mate. This is beyond a joke. Are you serious? Are you serious? America next. I think I should be able to do some more training. So I, I'd imagine I'll be at the very least on the bench for this game here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even make the bench. What is this, man? America. If we don't win this, we're out. We're out of the World Cup. Phil Foden. Keeping our World Cup adventure alive for now. This is ludicrous. Four days. I don't think there's enough days for me to come back and play the, the Scotland game. So as things stand, we are currently qualifying. And if we avoid defeat to Scotland and New Zealand avoid defeat to America, they've won both of their games, then uh, we'll be going through as runners-up. But is, is, will I be training on the 30th? That's the final day of the season. I, I, what is this, man? Am I training? Oh, thank God, I'll be at least on the bench for this one. Ah, might as well not even bother. 15 minutes to go, and uh, we're leading by three, and on course to qualify for knockout stage. This is really weird. Player CM desperately needs an overhaul, doesn't it? It's just so... Oh! So bad. It's it's frustrating, because I, I genuinely believe it can be the best game mode of FIFA. I, I really do believe that. You know, if you look at NBA 2K and the success of their My Career... There is no reason why FIFA couldn't do something similar in player CM, but it just needs a massive overhaul. Anyway, I've showed Gareth why he should be starting me. 4-0, qualification in the bag. Well, that's got to be a free kick, surely, ref. Surely. Without that. No? Okay, fair enough. That's a foul. What? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take the goal instead. <laughs> Brace for me. I'll take it. Well, there we go. Came off the bench. Freeing it up. Qualification already in the bad, but good to get a couple of goals. And hit all three of my objects as well. Gareth, come on, mate. Stop messing around now. Knockout stage where it gets real. you, you got to pick me to start. Hang on. In the top left there, it says that I've, I've become a starter again. But that must be for Real Madrid because I'm back in the club kit. Because it's the end of the season officially. Oh, I don't know what's going on. 
Right, so the new season is here. The World Cup groups have now been completed. This is who's going through and who's gone out. Uh, in Group A, Portugal and Austria are going through, which means that we will take on Austria in the last 16 as we go through as group winners alongside New Zealand. Spain and Ukraine are through in Group C. Argentina and Ghana are in Group D. Italy and Morocco in Group E. France and Norway in Group F. Germany and the Netherlands in Group G. And in Group H, it's Brazil and Croatia. So, in the last 16, yep, we will take on Austria, New Zealand, we'll take on Portugal. Thank God we ended up top in our group, but it's Austria in the last 16. And my uh, my my rating is reset in the top left as well, so I'll still be coming off the bench. And again, I'm coming on late in the game. 10 minutes to go and we're leading by two. So, yeah, as things stand heading through to the quarters, this is so annoying, man. This is such an anti-climax. Austria, not done yet, and certainly not. Nine minutes to go, and they've they've got a goal back. It's two one. Oh my god! Imagine if we bottle this. Oh my god! I'm never getting called up to the England squad again, man. I'm I, I'm the problem. It's like with Ronaldo at Manchester United. No no one thought at the time, but I'm the problem. I am the issue in this England squad. England have absolutely bottled this. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Don't ever call Docs up for the England squad. He is the problem. What on earth have I just seen? What on earth has just happened? This is unbelievable. Oh. I can't believe this. We're going out. And tune it up with 10 minutes to go. To down 3 2. Oh. Well, this is perhaps the greatest choke of all time. And this is it. Foden plays this right. This is the last chance we'll have to stay in the World Cup. I'm not the problem. I'm the solution, Gareth. What on earth have I just seen? Four goals. In 11 minutes. Completely bottled it, but at least we've got extra time. Unbelievable, honestly. I can't believe this. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, what a chance. I've got so much pace. Finish that. You see the frustration smacking the ball into the back of the net. After we retook the lead. And the bottle job has been rectified. England's World Cup dream almost turned into a horrific nightmare. But the solution, not the problem. Bags a last second leveler to force extra time and then sets up the game winner. 4-3 England, we survived the worst collapse in World Cup history. We're into the quarterfinals. That's such a cool nickname as well, isn't it? The Solution. I love that. That's such a great nickname. Right then, let's see who we got in the uh, in the quarterfinals. Um, I have to say, I <laughs> the amount of bugs. Oh, it's Argentina. It's Argentina. Argentina in the quarterfinals. So Portugal overcame New Zealand. Spain beat Ghana. Italy beat Norway. Germany beat Croatia. And after France beat Morocco and the Netherlands knocked out Brazil, we will take on the only South American side left, Argentina, in the World Cup quarterfinals. Doxy Boy going to play the role of Michael Owen or David Beckham? Let's find out. So, still, I'm coming off the bench. And I'm coming on with 26 minutes to go here. We're actually a goal down. We're a goal down 
to Argentina. World Cup winners in Qatar 2022. Well, different scenario this time. Can I stage the fight back? World Cup 1998, Argentina. It was actually the last 16 uh, when England met Argentina, not the quarterfinals, but even so. Obviously, the uh, media crucifixion of, of Beckham uh, uh, after that World Cup knockout game. Absolutely despicable. Um, but what, what Beckham did after that was uh, was extraordinary. He did something unprecedented. Oof! In the 99 season, winning the treble with, with Manchester United. In fact, my favourite episode of the High Performance Podcast, my favourite podcast, uh, was with Matthew Syed. It was released, I think, only a couple of months ago. And uh, he talks about the, the Beckham incident. He actually uh, helped write Beckham's autobiography. And... Um, how he talks about that incident is fantastic. What a ball, Saka! Definitely worth a listen. England back on level terms. It's Bakayo with the leveller. Go on, mate, win that, win that, win that. No, you've got to at least jump. You've got to at least try. What a save, Aaron Ramsdale. Phenomenal stop. Argentina got us penned right now in our own penalty area. Can't get out of my man going short there. I'll stay with him, I'll stay with him, I'll stay with him. Hey, it's a goal kick referee. <laughs> oh, you see the reaction. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, mate, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What a chance. Christian Romero to beat. Foden! Demons of 1998 avenged. Phil... Foden with surely the winning goal. Another assist for the six man. Doxy boy off the bench. Come on, England! Oh my god. Six man like I'm Lou Will. Doxy boy, the super sub. Hello. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on boys, three minutes to close this out. And there it is. England come from behind to win and make it through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. Six man like I'm Lou Will. We're in to the final four. Six men like Lou Will. Two girls and they get along like I'm, like I'm Lou Will. I just got the new deal. Boys loving it. Absolutely loving it. With a bit of Drake on in the dressing room there. So we're through. Italy, Portugal and France away in the semis. The question is, we will be taking on... France! France in the World Cup semis. Am I still going to call up the bench for it though? Let's check the score as I come off the bench. Oh, a goal down again. 27 minutes to go. Kylian Mbappe has scored for France in the first six minutes. Oh, my God. Six man like Lou Will. Let's do it again. Come on, England. As I often say, sometimes coming off the bench can actually be a good thing because you're coming on with fresh legs. And, oh, well in, mate. Um, the, the time still is the same. So even though technically there's only 25 in-game minutes to go, the half length is still three minutes or, or whatever minutes you play on. So it doesn't really change too much. But oh, if we are going to make the final, we'll have to come back from 2-0 down now. Kone, my ex-teammate at Spurs, has doubled the lead for France. 17 minutes, boys. Got to get going. Haven't really done anything so far. Can't get a ball off France. Well, that's mine, though. Foden could be away down that flank. He's onside. And Sancho should have got us back in the game. Golden chance, Burn. We might as well get a better one than that. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Was that Ben? I think it was Ben White deflecting it behind for a corner. That could have gone anywhere there. Camavinga's corner. Headed up in the air. I'll try and win that. In fact, I didn't get a chance to. But Gallagher's won it back. And away we go. Oh, what a chance. This is it. Foden. 
five and a half minutes. It's now or never, boys. Now or never. Force extra time. Oh, ah. I'm imposing. I'm asserting. But we're still trailing. I think we're going to get one more chance. Oh, Sancho! Flick it back to me, bro! I'm running in behind and I'm going to be one on one. Last chance for France is a corner. It's me versus Mbappe, and I've beaten him once and won us a goal kick. And oh, I've got a knock in the process. Oh, you're having a laugh. Well, forced extra time, but at what cost? If I don't run that off, even if we do make the final, I won't play it. Well, it says in the top left I've got the injury, but there's no health symbol next to my, my player, so. I'm going to assume that the magic sponge has, uh, has healed me completely. I'm playing through the pain, and I'm all right. But as extra time is here. France have made the better start, and they're back in front. Oh, flag's up. Flag's up. He's not going to count. Flag is up. Mbappe can't believe it. No, 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 no. Trent, got to get back, mate. Got to get back. Win that bent. Yes, well in. And that's going to be mine. And again, I'm going to head it away. 15 minutes as things stand with heads and pens. And that's a poor pass back. Mike's got to come all the way to win that. And he's in a bit of trouble here. And that's a risky thing for France to do right at the death. And they've got away with it. And that is that is pens. It's pens in the World Cup semi. Oh. Hold your nerve, boys. The World Cup Finals at stake. And the first man up for England is Doxy Boy, who normally goes top left. And in the World Cup Final, it's no exception. <sighs> Kylian Mbappe takes France's first and scores. Jaden Sancho. Oh, Bukayo Saka. Oh, God. Me and Mbappe have scored. No one else has until now. Camavinga gives France their first lead from the spot kicks. And Declan Rice is denied. And unless Aaron Ramsdale can pull off the heroics, France are going to yet another World Cup final. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. I mean, I, I did as much as I could in my limited role. I think if we would have made it through, I, I probably would have been able to start the final with some training. But uh, in the end, it wasn't to be. More heartbreak on penalties for England. And it'll be a France-Italy final. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll end by seeing who wins the World Cup. France or Italy. And oh, we've got a third place. Oh, I don't care about that. I mean, I'll play it, but let's be honest here. No one really wants to be here. This is the problem with the third place playoff in World Cups. Like, no, no one really wants to play it. They're too depressed. Where are you? Oh, phone. To you. Oh, what a save. Oh, he's going to win. Yes, it is. Oh, what a finish. I mean, we're, we're not really that bored about the outcome of this, but that, that is quite nice, that. Oh, look at that. That's fine. Oh, wow. Flag save. Oh, wow. 
That was so quick. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, touch. Oh, brilliant. And my man on his heels. Oh. England will finish third at the World Cup. Did you see my guy stumbling there? Crossed him over. Gone Carlo and Naffy. I robbed my man there. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Did well to stay on his feet, to be fair, but great finish. Well, it might be quite meaningless, but it's nice to know that, unlike in 2018, we do win the third place playoffs. To finish with the, the, the bronze medal, if you will. We'll take it. We'll take it. A disappointing end to the World Cup, but at least something positive to end on. Oh, cool. So that performance will put me in the starting 11 um, for the international friendly. So it'll come directly afterwards. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Typical. Right, let's uh, let, let's sim one day in the calendar and uh, and see who wins the World Cup then, and who claim the grand prize. It was. France beating Italy by two goals to one, avenging their demons from 2006 and winning their second World Cup in, what would it be now, 12 years. Fair enough. There it is. Our progress ended by the winners. I mean, I always say no shame in that. Right, guys, we should leave it there. So big thank you for watching the World Cup in 2030. If you enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. What a crazy, crazy World Cup that was. Um, much love to you. Have a fantastic day. And I don't know what comes next. I really don't. So I'll say I'll see you for another episode very soon. But what it is, honestly, I've got absolutely no idea. Because we're three weeks into a new season here. But I guess we'll find out together. Much love. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.